Thanks for joining me for episode two. This is one week before surgery. We've met with the surgeon today and in the pre-op appointment, there's a number of things to expect that I wanted to share with you. First and foremost, you can plan on getting all the paperwork, all the wonderful documents that you need to sign, the waivers that need to be signed, all the requests for payments, for your co-pays and things of this nature, and the coordination of medical equipment that's gonna be needed for your recovery, as well as the pharmacy and all your medications for pain management and so forth. The one thing that is really interesting is this whole process from a surgical perspective is 45 to 90 minutes for a whole new hip. The surgeon was very clear that uh, this is a routine process that they uh, do on a regular basis here at the surgical center. So the team's prepared and understands how the day is going to go. I just need to show up and do my part and be a good patient. So as they've explained to me, as I come out of surgery and into post-op, once I become con conscious and able to, to move around, the process will begin to with some physical therapists and nurses to get me up, start putting weight on the joint immediately. And prior to being able to leave the surgical center, I'm being told that I'm going to be walking with a walker and uh, be able to, to maintain that stability on my own. So I'm looking forward to that because the pain right now is it's not uh, not pleasant. I'm really tired of it and I, I'm looking forward to having a new hip and getting rid of the pain. One of the big things though that I wasn't aware of and maybe uh, it's just my ignorance but the amount of infection infection control processes that they have in place right now and my portion of that and the routine that I have to go under uh, prior to surgery uh, was something that I was not expecting. So. Let me just walk through a couple of things that are now going to be a daily routine up until surgery. I have a new routine on a twice daily basis of antiseptic nasal swapping. So evidently the surgical site infection process is such that they want to make sure that there's no bacteria or anything in the nostrils in that area that could cause an infection. And then on a, a once a day basis, uh, I get to shower and basically rinse off or apply a product called Dynahex, which is a full body antiseptic to remove any bacteria and so forth from the skin. And I do this daily for five days leading up to surgery. And this is actually a process that you apply this product with an actual mitten and a new mitten every day. So just to make sure that there's no bacteria or anything else. It's not the same mitten five days in a row. It's a new mitten every day to apply this. This application takes place at the end of your shower. And then it you stand there for two minutes or so, let this seep in, do its job, rinse off, and then you're, you're done for the day. But this is a couple of the things that I didn't really know or expect to have uh, in my routine leading up to surgery. Now, we have continued to do physical therapy and will continue to do physical therapy up until the surgical date, just to make sure that the muscles are as flexible as possible and that my joints are moving as well as they can so that as they go in and replace the hip, that things are as basically as elastic as possible. I want this to be like a rubber band where the muscles are moved out of the way and then snap back into place once they're through. So I appreciate everybody joining me on my adventure to getting a new hip. I'm really looking forward to showing you what uh, great success I'm gonna have in the recovery. So stay tuned. We'll see you next episode where I get a new hip. See you in a week.